Hey everyone, Ryan here and welcome to the Quest Log where we talk about Dragon Quest news, tidbits and more. And today's topic is the Dragon Quest 35th Anniversary Predictions. The 35th Anniversary is happening this week and I know we're all excited to see what new Dragon Quest games are on the horizon. Now the 35th Anniversary event is going to be Japanese only like last year so I assume everything announced will most likely be catered more towards the Japanese audience. And also the event will be streamed in English and I assume this is actually going to be English subtitles so there's no guarantee guarantee any of the games mentioned here will be localized, so just keep that in mind. E3 is happening next month, although it will be digital, so hopefully we'll see English-related Dragon Quest news there. Last year was mostly Dragon Quest Die related, but now with Die airing on TV, I'm sure we'll be back to the normal games for this one. And a disclaimer, there's always a chance I can get everything wrong in these predictions, but we're just here to have fun and speculate. If I get something right, great. If I get things wrong, oh well. So now let's get to the nitty gritty. Here are my predictions. First of all, we're gonna get some kind of mobile game. I know Dragon Quest of the Stars is shutting down in America and Rivals is ending in Japan. However, I know the Japanese market loves mobile games, so it would be a missed opportunity not to capitalize on the mobile market in Japan. What I think Square Enix will do is release a non-gacha title so they don't have to rely on people spending money to keep the game alive. I know the Dragon Quest Monsters games are on mobile in Japan, so I hope Square Enix will consider another of the Game Boy games on mobile like, you know, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. Or maybe a mobile port of Dragon Quest 9, since that's the only game that hasn't gotten a remake or a port on another console, aside from the Nintendo DS. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I personally don't know what this mobile game will be, but I do know we may get another one. Next up will be a preview and a release date for the second half of Dragon Quest X version 5.5, which is going to be the end of version 5. I'm working hard on my version 5 review right now, and I can't exactly complete the review until all of version 5.5 is done. We got the first half of 5.5 at the end of March, and hopefully we'll get an announcement when the second half of version 5.5 will come out, hopefully this summer like in July, and also maybe we'll get a preview of version 6. And next up, we will definitely get a release date for Dragon Quest Die Infinity Strash. I assume it will at least be on PS4, PS5, and maybe the PC. I am definitely going to import this game and review it for the channel, and I will also get the localized version as well. My realistic prediction is that it will be out in the fall in Japan, and maybe next spring in English. And the next one is going to be a bit of a long shot, but maybe an update to the Eric and Mia Dragon Quest Monsters game that's been in development hell for the longest time. I mean, who knows? Maybe Maybe it's finally out of development hell, or maybe it's further down development hell, but I'm hoping it gets out of development hell and into development heaven. Yes, I know that was cheesy, I'm sorry. And next up would be Dragon Quest Heroes 3. It's been a while since Heroes 2 came out and it would be nice to have another Heroes game with the PS5 hardware, although the Heroes games really push the limits of the PS4. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be getting Builders 3 anytime soon since the main director of the Builders series left Square Enix and it's only been two years since Builders 2. I also hope we see some progress on the supposed Dragon Quest 3 and 9 remakes because man, if those are remade in Unreal Engine, especially 3, which is my all-time favorite Dragon Quest game, oh man. And while I don't think this is a big priority for Square Enix right now, I hope we see the Zenithian trilogy, which are Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6, coming to the consoles like the Nintendo Switch, the PC, the PS4, etc. And I will be covering this topic in another video. And maybe we'll see some previews of the later episodes of Dragon Quest Die since we're far past the original 90s anime. Maybe we'll even see the main main villain in animated form. And last but not least, there's gonna be a ton of merchandise. Yes, I know, no merchandise. Okay. For real. Now last but not least, the Dragon Quest 12 reveal. I'm pretty sure we'll see what the hero looks like and some cool visuals along with the logo. We probably won't get a release date, but we'll see some cool Dragon Quest 12 stuff. So that's pretty much my predictions for the 35th anniversary. Since 35 is such a nice number, I'm sure Square Enix saved all their great stuff for this year, unlike last year which was focused on Dragon Quest Die. And that ends this episode of the Quest Log, and make sure to leave your predictions for the Dragon Quest 35th anniversary in the comments below, and be sure to stay tuned for the follow-up video discussing what I think about the 35th anniversary, and make sure to follow me on Twitter at ThatRyanMolina, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, which really helps me out, and take care, Questers!